Hi, I'm Matthew, the creator of Screwed, and today I want to show you how much your photography will benefit from this immensely powerful app. This tutorial is gonna be a little bit longer, so make sure to check the marks in the description to jump immediately to the section you're interested in, or just follow the whole video because I'm going to share some insights and stories to the pictures we are about to edit. Let's start off by firing up Screwed. Down here is the info button, which is immediately forwarding you into our imprint, where you can find all the names of the beautiful people that have helped us to develop the app, take a picture or import it from your camera roll. Now we are taking this one here because you can see the converging lines from pointing up a camera. That's pretty classic. Get into the vertical correction filter, crank it up a little bit, zoom in and edit a bit more, double tap to get a regular view or tap the corners to get into high precision editing. This looks quite good. Confirm, tap and hold for before after or tap two fingers to make the grid visible and you can choose between three grids depending on which one works the best for you. Now let's check if the image is straight. No worries if it isn't, you can get back into any kind of filter at any time and re-edit it because we're using a non-destructive workflow, you won't lose any pixel at any time and can get back and readjust it. This is how we don't this is why we don't need an undo button. Now this is the classic rotation one, double tap to get back to zero and the vertical line correction, double tap to zero. Now, another really nice feature is, um, let me just quickly edit the picture. So here we go, it's that simple, looks quite good, confirm. And now export it to Instagram and what Screwed does now is it creates automatic white borders to a not square picture. So you can immediately upload it from here to Instagram. How awesome is that? Let me show you another example real quick. Up and running across the street, seeing this man and took the shot. What I have now is bring back the buildings in the back, simply a little swipe with the vertical correction filter. Looks quite good already, before and after. Just to be sure, I zoom in, get to the side, edit a little bit more. Here we go, confirm. And what I always do recommend is using the lens correction filter because even an iPhone lens has got barrel distortion, lens distortion, so a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit does the trick and you can use it on any picture you have before and after, before and after and now get the ratio back because of the vertical correction. Simply ratio filter, a little swipe, here we go, that's it, perfectly straightened picture. Let's talk some lens correction. We're going for this one here, jump right into our six lens filter. Now we got iPhone, white, fisheye and action. We're going for white because this one has been shot with a wide angle lens and now pay attention to the corner because depending on where your dial position is, the algorithm changes. This way we can capture more different wide angle lenses. Before, after, have a look. This is already looking pretty awesome. The only thing left is change the ratio a little bit you can decide on where you want to go. We're going for a little bit of a bigger stretch. Okay, and now jump right into our high precision crop tool. Simply tap the ratio twice to mirror it, but we're going for one by one. Drag it to resize it and with two fingers you can move it around. And you can use a two finger gesture wherever you are on the screen. Here we go confirm and voila we just created a completely new image it's really that simple let's stick to some lens correction this time we're going for a fisheye picture as you can see here so back to the six lens filter but this time for the fisheye same again watch the corner because we are using different algorithms for different positions and now choose whatever feels good for you i'm fine with this here and now boom that's a before and after, but pay attention. Here is some recalculation happening and you can simply edit it out by regular editing or use the ratio filter. And here we go. That's basically it. A complete lens correction. Watch the amazing before and after and we've just corrected a fisheye image. Next to fisheye and wide angle lenses, we added a dedicated algorithm for GoPro cameras. So go to six lens again, as you can see here. It's a GoPro barrel distortion, go to action and move the dial completely to 20. This is the position where you completely get rid of all the distortion from the GoPro camera. It's pretty hard to get the composition right, so straighten it out. This is, by the way, this is me doing a handset in France, shot by a friend of mine. Confirm, here we go, and as you can see, we are missing a little bit of this vignette. In case you like it, 
simply bring it back with our vignette correction filter, so to the left, it's making it darker, and of course correction filter, so to the right you make it lighter and prepared for further editing. Confirm, and we just corrected a GoPro camera picture. I really love this feature, I love using my GoPro more than ever now, and I want to show you a quick example of a different shot. I have taken this one with a selfie stick, so it's been levitated pretty high, so same again. Go to action, go completely to the right till you hit 20, so you correct all the distortion. And now the only thing that is left to do is correct the perspective. Because officially I couldn't see what I've been shooting, but right now I got screw it and I can go anywhere I want to with my GoPro and be sure that I can get the shot. This wouldn't be a good tutorial if I wouldn't show you some more extended editing. So I spotted this graffiti somewhere in London. First thing you want to do is turn off the auto cropping because we're going for some more extended editing. Next one is the vertical lines correction. This works for me. And now a bit of rotation. You don't have to be 100% here because now we are jumping to the high precision crop tool. The one by one ratio and reposition it, drag it. Good thing about the two finger gesture is that you can zoom in at any time, resize and reposition it. So here we go, finding the perfect cutout. Now I want the graffiti to be in the center, so I use the two finger gesture again to reposition my crop frame, double tap, confirm, and here we go. We just create a completely new image. But because we haven't paid attention earlier, we can now fine tune the editing. And uh, this is it. We just created a completely new image. Good to go. Have fun and try it out. Now I want to show you a little trick which I got from Dan a while ago. So we got this beautiful building here and we could go for the classic and bring it back to the front, have a nice straight forsake, but this is not what we are looking for. So cancel, um, switch off auto cropping and correct it just a little tiny bit. Here we go. And after this little correction, we are jumping to the crop tool again and search for a decent ratio. I think the five by four, five by four is perfect for what we're going to need. Yep. And now you have to open it in another app. This other app is called Anti-Crop. And what Anti-Crop does is it recalculates missing areas and it does a tremendously good job with skies. So simply enlarge the square and as you can see it is recalculating the missing sky. It doesn't do the best job for more complex areas, sometimes you get lucky, but for what I wanted to show you it's just amazing. Have fun trying it out and I can't wait to see your pictures. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, let us know in the comments if you would like to see more of these kind of videos. Thank you for watching and enjoy Screw It and Mobile Photography. Take care, bye.